Hi, I'm Peter Burris with another Wikibon Action Item Quick Take. Uh, David Floyer, you've been at the vanguard of talking about the role that flash, SSDs, and others, other technologies are going to have in the technology industry, predicting early on that it was going to eclipse HDD, even though you got a lot of blowback about the we're going to remain expensive and small. That's changed. What's going on? Well, I've got a prediction uh, that we'll have petabyte drives, uh, SSD drives within five years. Let, let me uh, tell you a little bit why. So there's a, this new type of SSD that's coming into town. It's the, the mega SSD. And Nimbus uh, Data has just announced this mega SSD. It's a 100 terabyte drive. Uh, it's very high density, obviously. Uh, it has much fewer uh, much fewer. It has fewer IOPS and bandwidth than SSD. Uh, the access density uh, is much better than HDD, but still obviously lower than uh, high performance SSD. Much, much lower space power than either SSD or HDD uh, in terms of uh, uh, environmentals. It's three and a half inch. Uh, and that's compatible with HDD. It's obviously looking to go into the same slots. Um, 100 terabytes today, 200 terabytes, it, uh, 10x, that's 10x of the hammer drives that are coming in uh, from uh, HDDs in, in 2019, 2020, and the delta will increase over time. Uh, it's still more expensive than uh, HDD per bit, but it's, and it's not a direct replacement but uh, much greater ability to integrate uh, uh, with uh, data services and other things like that. So the prediction then is get ready for mega SSDs. It's going to carve out a space at the low end of SSDs and into the HDDs, and we're going to have one petabyte or more drives within five years. Big stuff from small things. David Floyer, thank you very much. And once again, this has been a Wikibon Action Item Quick Take.